My name is Gitanjali Rao, and I'm an innovator, author, student, and promoter of science, technology, engineering, and math, especially for students and youth. As part of conducting my research, as well as my global outreach for students across the globe, I'm able to reach out to about 50,000 students, as well as share with them what my work was, as well as my process of innovation, and allow each student to come up with an idea, as well as use a process that they can use to take their ideas to the real world. When I was about four years old, my uncle got me this science kit, which obviously changed my life forever. But really what it taught me was exposure at a young age. I was so used to having things go a certain way, but I was taught to take risks and shift from the normal stereotypes that were out there in our community. So instead of getting a Barbie doll or a Barbie dream house for that specific birthday, I received a science kit, which I then used to, one, discover my passion for science and technology, and two, stem my passion for innovation as well as helping others discover their innovation passion as well from it. Apart from my uncle, who had a huge pillar of support during my early stages in innovation at the ripe old age of four, obviously my parents have been huge supporters in my journey, as well as mentors that obviously like Dr. Kathleen Schaefer from the Young Scientist Challenge, who I am still in touch with to this day, as well as Dr. Michael McMurray from the University of Colorado, Denver, and Dr. Selene Hernandez Ruiz from Denver Water Water Quality. And folks like those are who those who have supported me even when others didn't, right? They offered me a lab space, but they also offered me guidance to to keep going forward with my innovations. And more than that, they've offered me the motivation to continue being an innovator and changing the world for the better. One of my favorite things about working in the field of science and technology is helping other students recognize that, oh, I can do it too, right? A lot of times students do have great ideas to change the world for the better, but sometimes just don't know where to start. And on top of that, for them seeing real world examples, like my lead detection tool, Tethys, that I developed at the age of 10 or 11, as well as my opioid addiction tool and my recent application kindly as well, for them to see those in the real world and see them happening is really why I do the work that I do. Not not only to put my research out there and do what I love doing, but really to help others recognize that they can do what they love as well. If I could change a common misconception about scientists, it would be the fact that you have to be a certain type or look a certain way to be a scientist, right? Right now, we're growing up in this place where we have the standard stereotype of what a scientist looks like. And it hasn't changed in the past 50 years. And really what we need to do is help recognize that you don't need to look that way to love science or be a scientist. What you need to do is have that drive within you because one day in the future, there's not gonna be something called a woman in science or a 15 year old science or a South Indian in science. It's going to be something called people in science, right? And all of us are going to fit that stereotype one day. So do what you love and don't care about what anybody thinks about you because you make your choices for yourself and be what who you want to succeed and help others. If you are an aspiring scientist, inventor, or creator, my biggest piece of advice is don't be afraid to dream big and then think back to reality. You have the power to make those dreams into reality, even if not right now. So think outside the box and don't put a box on your head because frankly, your ideas can change the world, even if you don't think so right now. So go out there, solve problems, and reach into your inner kid because you have the power to make a difference. <laughs>